Invest in one of these uh, climbers rope bags from Monkey Beaver if, if you like smooth uh, entrance into a tree when you're doing crane jobs. Missed all the shrubs. That'll happen every time if you buy one of these. And what, Jeff? Run the crane today. He's never, he's never run it. I think it's a good idea for everyone to be able to do everyone else's job. I don't want a job that somebody on the crew can't do. It's gonna be safer if somebody can jump on something. This guy was racing around a corner. Couldn't see him. not done tension never before I'm gonna tell you when is enough yeah cable up easy now where you're you're kind of feathering it in okay a little more watch watch the boom uh, flex keep going Okay. That might be enough and you can add a little later if it's not. See YouTube, it's very light. See how it's all cracked up? It's bone dry. This guy's gonna cry if we chip this. But we're gonna want to, huh? A beehive in the bat box? Yep. Yellow jackets? Uh, okay. That'll be fun. I also wanted to mention my closing statements on my last video I was talking about. If somebody, if somebody makes a mistake and you have a cow, you just have a fit about how dumb they are or whatever. Because that's, that's what you want to do. Um, it's, it always makes it worse. It's far better if you have a little self-control and even better than that is to realize that you it's far better to realize that that you also are a dude or a chick or one of the two genders that makes mistakes that does dumb stuff so I had like <laughs> I'm not talking from a point of view of like high and mightiness either because you know like let's 
listen to me, I have advice for you. But not it's been a long time since I've crashed a vehicle. And I'm a pretty good, pretty careful driver, good at backing up, good at like seeing the world around me and anticipating things that might happen. And um, but my wife has periodically dinged things up. And she had an occasion not long ago. Oh, I didn't shift right. Sorry. She had an occasion not long ago where she backed and scraped the car down the uh, gate uh, keypad thing. And it did like quite unnecessary damage and was the way I looked at it. And I, I was annoyed because I thought it's just so unnecessary to scrape things up, right? But I was quiet as a church mouse about it, barely, okay? And then last week, I, I was driving the big van and I rolled up. I was kind of in a hurry. I rolled up, I wanted to get something out of the crane. And I came to a stop and I opened the door and I jumped out. And then while I was digging around in the crane, I saw the reflection of something going past me. And I'm like, what the heck? Who's behind me? And I turned around just in time to see the van just crash into my black truck. Like ghost driving. Because I had rolled up, and in my haste, I had left it in drive, not put it in park, not e-brake, nothing. It was a flat ground area. And it just was so dumb. He doesn't have one. Maybe a touch more. Okay, okay.
unnecessary things. And so that's what I was referring to in the video, at the end of the video, uh, the last video I made. I was like, yeah, it was nice. It was a nice benefit. Somebody just crashed on their bicycle. Wiped out. Sorry, buddy. He's, he's up. He's up. He's good. Anyway, I thought about all the bad bosses that I've known and how they just pounce on any little mistake and just, just start cussing and freaking out. And in order for them to do that, they have to turn a blind eye to all of the ways that make them a terrible person. And, uh, man. So I was, like, happy that I was barely a good dude. And it took me crashing my car to be thankful uh, and to be sort of reinforce the lesson that everybody makes mistakes. Plus for crane tension, F for truck placement. This is where we see if Jeff can make the cut. Yeah. Looks good, cuts nice.